Hi folks, Mr. Mega Man Van here. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know all the things to do. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can play Famicom Disk System games with only the RAM adapter and something that's called the FDS key. Because I've always wanted a Famicom disk drive, but I didn't want to deal with the hassle of disks that don't work or belts that need to be repaired or replaced or any of those sorts of issues. So this allows me to play Famicom disc games like they were on an actual disc drive, but without needing an actual disc drive. It's an, I guess you'd call it an optical drive emulator for a Famicom. That's better. Now I've got it out of the box and you can see it's got a D-pad for selecting games and then you load the game by hitting the arrow on the one you select. And it's also got some instructions. This product was drop shipped from China, so I imagine the instructions might be in both English and Chinese, but let's take a look. FDS key features. Not included, Famicom, Famicom RAM adapter, or micro SD card. That's fine because I have all those things already has a micro SD port, and here are your quick start instructions. Put things on the micro SD card and insert it to FDS key. I assume it has to be formatted FAT32, but we'll know soon enough. Press the right button to select a disc. Press up or down to flip a disc side. Download updated firmware here. So yeah, I'm going to have to stop filming to make sure I have the most up-to-date firmware before I do anything else. So that's what I'm going to do next. Back shortly to try out the FDS key. Woo! Let's try the hold all four buttons thing again. Firmware updated. Okay. Delete FDS key bin. Yes. Browse disk images. So it appears it was just the SD card all along. It's working. Oh, uh ho, ho. some Akamatra Dracula going on here. It's reading the disc right now. Yeah, there we go. At some point here, I need to uh, show you what it looks like when it's actually loading a disc, because you've only seen it from the vantage point of the FDS key and not on the screen while it's actually doing its thing. So let me just uh, eat this first level. I presume it'll save. And then once we save, I'll show you that. And now I gotta flip the disc again. Now saving. And we're back to the title screen. So let's just check that save file really quick. Stage four. Yep, that looks
looks right to me. The cord isn't long enough for me to hold up the FDS key while I'm doing this, so you get to see one or the other, not both. I'm going to browse disk images. I'm going to select Twinby, and I hit the right arrow, and it loads the disk. And there we have Twinby, the Famicom Disk System version. So as you can see, if you want to play Famicom Disk System games and you don't want to actually deal with maintaining or repairing a Famicom Disk System with its belts and various failure points like discs going bad or getting a disc that you think has one game on it but it's actually been overwritten to be another game. You never know what kind of issues you might encounter with Famicom discs. So, this is a way to play Famicom disc system games on an authentic Famicom without worrying about whether or not you have a bad disc. Twin B is a great game to play on a disc system. This is a classic, in my opinion. I don't know if everybody agrees, but I quite like it. But I think that's enough for one day. I'll get a game over here and let it cycle back to the main menu. I don't think it's gonna save anything. Today's high score. Yeah, I didn't even set a high score, so. Oh, I hit start, so it restarted. That's my own fault. Anyway, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, and describe the FDS key Works as advertised, just don't use a cheap Walmart SD card in it because the read speed is apparently not enough to work with the FDS key. Thanks for watching.